Hello and welcome to Spring Command of Forged Alliance. We're on Ambush the Enemy, a 2v2 map. A really good map. I think it's a little underplayed. Everybody trying to skip 2v2s, going through the 4v4s, 5v5s. Really, back in the day, 2v2s was, especially with ISIS, the main uh, place for people to play. Get a good friend, get some crazy tactics, and take on another team. And this would be a great choice. So, first off, I want to mention. TJ and uh, Jack Sparrow or no, Napalm they covered the uh, Knockout Cup uh, this Sunday there's a whole bunch of videos with good commentary on there so people should check those out there in a playlist I'll link it to this video people just go to their channel subscribe so you don't miss uh, too much stuff because they'll probably be doing most of the casting in the future hopefully so back to this game C2C and Infinity Pool EF and Cybern, green and red. Uh, first land from both, and up on top, tough enough, Cybern. So we got a Cybern on Cybern deal through the top. And uh, Sai, China Sai, I'm assuming that's China. At least they always get the Chinese flag next to their name on FAF. Yeah, it's probably, well, yeah, probably more Americans than Chinese in FAF, but might change in some, some point. But uh, tough enough from Russia and Russia and China versus C2C and Infinity Pool. I'm not really sure where these guys are. And uh, so far we're seeing uh, scouts, some moles coming out from tough enough. A Celine coming down from Psy. NG in a tank protecting. So early on, you see a lot more aggression from the top. You look at this map slightly differently, you can see. Basically, pretty big hills. You can't really climb those. So good defensive. This is a good defensive position, but you only start with four, and there's four mess structures in the middle. Another four up on each one of these hills. You can see how this hill. If you get control of one of these, you can get a lot of shots into the middle. Perhaps you build some things on these mountains. And then we got the first shots fired. Tough enough. The uh, mantis on mantis love here. Tough enough versus C2C. But it looks like it'll be outnumbered. Elsewhere, just scouts, people probing. Very aggressive ACU from C to C. By far the most aggressive out of the four. There is a bit of mass there if you can get to control here. Multiple hydros, of course. You gotta hold on to three things with two players. So, very good uh, map design here. You can't really put ACUs in the same uh, hole or block up an ACU with uh, each hole with an ACU, just like you can do on uh, ISIS in the middle. Here, you got uh, three different positions. Infinity pool not coming in, and it looks like Sai here uh, might go 2v1. Uh, tough enough, also moving in now. Hopefully, soon I'll get the 1080p working. Hopefully, do a video a week or so, so I get uh, rid of these things on the side. Hopefully, the next video will be fixed. So, we do have a mech marine here from Infinity pool rolling by, not really kin killing anything. There, there's a kill from a marine, but the tanks, there from tanks, take care of the problem. Up on top, we do see Mantis on Mantis uh, still. And an NG here, very good NG from Tough Enough, we can get a factory going. Still absolutely no air from either side. Three land each and more land for uh, Infinity Pool. Four, uh, three land for Psy and two land for Tough Enough. So uh, less factories for the top side. Meanwhile, C2C have completely taken over the middle. That's an extra form for extractors for the bottom side. Side doing a good job though. Uh, yeah, this is a good raider. Moving in, actually moving maybe a little too hard with those tanks. Up on top, Manti. Uh, it looks like tough enough not going to the middle. C2C you see now, a bit sandwiched between two ACUs. They need to pull a bit out of the game. Taking care of some tanks though. Tough enough being aggressive with ACU going after all those Manti. Meanwhile, seems to see getting caught. Uh, good teamwork between Tough Enough and Psy. They could trap the weak Cyber and ACU. You can see some factories started in the way of C2C trying to block his way. Meanwhile, the tanks for C2C fighting Tough Enough. Tough Enough getting a lot of veterancy. It looks like C2C should be able to retreat. Got some reinforcements. Although, big difference in the. Yeah, it looks like uh, Psy is going to be playing it safe and will retreat. Probably could have put a little more pressure, but Infinity Pool coming in, it could have put him in a bad position, so a good retreat. On the bottom, we got the Infinity Pool and the Psy. Looks like numbers now for Infinity Pool. Psy can be in a bit of trouble. 
And up on top, Duffin of, uh, together with Sal, looks like two ACUs to the top corner. Very surprising. You can see C2C can get himself in trouble. Once again, run into two ACUs, he must not realize. And actually, tough enough could be in trouble if Sai doesn't come and help out, and Sai will respond right away. So once again, good teamwork. So these players could be on uh, Skype or TeamSpeak or something like that. It often happens, especially I'm on uh, good level of games. Now, tough enough, uh, going quite low, 18 kills, 19 going to get a lot of and it was really size ACU who, who saved uh, Tough Enough. Meanwhile, Tough Enough looks like he's putting most of his mass into his mass extractors. He really was outnumbered here by C2C, only saved by Sai. But Sai, meanwhile, even though uh, his ACU was helping Tough Enough, it was really uh, a pretty even game here. It looks like Infinity's pool's ACU was really out of it. He could have probably put a lot more pressure on the side overall because that was the gamble by the top side move two ACUs to the left now another attack from C2C uh, tough enough this entire game just to hold a big tough set of tanks he is going tech two though and he does already have he's going for his third tech to mask extractor plenty of power as well so infinity pool ACU really the one that hasn't done too much yet seven kills meanwhile now side with an attack Pretty even number, still no air. Actually, a whole bunch of Teflon bombers is uh, that plenty of power for Infinity Pool. So Infinity Pool can start attacking and perhaps shift that game. Tough enough, uh, once again, uh, looks like C2C just kind of throwing away tanks here against Tough Enough. 30 kills for Tough Enough. Pretty even battle. This is where artillery is really nice at these distances, especially with the tanks so crowded. Can hit many at a time. Tough enough, 34 kills, and once again, size ACU helping him out. So many kills, 37 kills for Tough Enough with the ACU, so maximizing our point defense here from Tough Enough. Uh, perhaps expecting to get attack really wasn't necessary with uh, Sai protecting. Sai, meanwhile, trying to get point defenses up on the top mountain. So, meanwhile, the middle has completely belonged to the bottom side. The Sides have been uh, really a, a tough battleground, but it looks like eventually C2C is going to take the top left. Bomber's not coming in. Rome Infinity Pool. And Infinity Pool is going to move in with the ACU to finally start using it. And that should force uh, side from the mountain, which would mean really dominant map control from the top side. But we do now see Tech 2 coming out from Tough Enough. And tough enough, uh, really a SimCity mode here is power storage great target. Tough enough not getting a gun, perhaps, or Tech 2. And you can see this bombing has been very effective from uh, Infinity Pool. Many bombs dropped off. Uh, Infinity Pool's ACU moving in and does a complete total retreat. And uh, that should probably not be finished. Tech 2 moving in on the field, though, for tough enough. Some hoplites, massive range on those uh, bots. And Tech to Flak as well. And yeah, this Tech to Flak is going to put an end to all this uh, fun with the bombers from Infinity Pool. But Infinity Pool, huge reclaim opportunities, plus an extra four max structures and a Hydra. So once again, total map control. Uh, but here, CPC so getting an upgrade. Plenty of Tech 1. Looking at the base for uh, C2C, it's completely Tech 1, no upgrade whatsoever. Just sitting on a massive Tech 1 land spam this entire game, finally. First real upgrade or anything is on the ACU. So he's definitely falling behind. He's uh, tough enough in terms of the kind of units he can produce. And these hoplites can just outrange and kite all day against the Manta. They're bunched up like this, plus uh, the Manta already hoplites. We did see some flak as well, an engineer for tough enough. Looks like an engine battle that is won by Infinity Pool. Side just hanging out. Looks like side taking some of the mask structures from the middle. Meanwhile, Infinity Pool now moving in once again with the ACU. This is a good use of artillery. Shooting over the mountain for uh, Infinity Pool against some tanks. That is that is good use of uh, units. Yeah, but here, non-stop kiting from these hoplites. It's the annoying gameplay here from Tough Enough using the superior units. But the gunned ACU now from CTC moving in. Infinity Pool. No upgrades. And we do, did see this did uh, get a response from Sai. He tried to go take out the Artie, but 
caught out well by Infinity Pulls ACU. And now C2C will the gun, will force a Tech 2 to respect it. With this Tech 2 force getting quite large, looks like Tech 2 and Token Ops ACU some TMD. Playing very safe with so much Tech 2 mask though. Yeah, now finally some air from Tough Enough, but uh, basically putting half of it, at least half of Zico, into the economy, and his economy is now much better than everybody else's. Looking at the side, he's just getting his first uh, Tech 2 mask structure. No Tech 2 mask structure from the bottom side whatsoever. They've been busy getting map control, and they definitely got it. Sai, uh, 7 kills. It looks like this will be easy victory for Infinity Pool up on the hill. Plus, the engineers got plenty of engineers. It's going to be where his mass comes from. Tech to point defenses for tough enough. Very defensive. C2C trying to get an upgrade. Gets hit by some hoplites at range. Forces them to cancel. It's just going to start moving in. So, Cybern on Cybern, pretty good, but uh, total map control versus some city here. Nice placement on the radar from C to C. And an NG just hanging out. Meanwhile, Infinity Pool uh, getting more mass extractors. Still a lot of reclaim. We can check out. Uh, well, actually, here it looks like C to C once again is going to get the upgrade. Running in after Tough Enough, and you don't want to run into this position. He's stacked the point defense. Looking at Tough Enough's economy. You see the range on these point defenses. Already got a lot of kills. You can see good radar coverage. You can see the mass plus 30. A lot of power. And nearly 4,000 reclaimed. Compared to CTC, only plus 18 mass, only 280 power. No tech 2, but the ACU here got the gun. It's about to get some stealth as well. Still no tech 2 from uh, C2C. And here's the battle. Tough enough. Uh, some radar. The hoplites are going to run up. Uh, do their tech to point defenses. They really need to stay out of range. Nice tech to point defenses here and get a lot of kills. It's a good work for Walmart uh, Duffin on playing some city and getting the defensive position. Meanwhile, we see Infinity Pool going on assault against the side. Side does up the gun now. 15 kills. And bombers from a tough enough helping out his ally. Meanwhile, this is a complete. Uh, Disaster! So many kills for these point defenses. I don't know. That was probably not a good use for units from C2C. He is now fed tough enough a lot more eco. Tough enough to take two AC. He's just going to continue to do the tech to point defense creep. Infinity pool, 26 kills. Side does he have the gunner today? Imagine. I believe that. Yeah, that is. Maybe not. And gunships now from the Infinity pool did not notice that tech to air. Some tech to engineers now too. Of course, uh, some flak. Yeah, flak from Tough Enough. Uh, these gunships are going to respect it. We'll retreat. But Tech 2 Air, that's very interesting if they can get in behind some Tech 2 land. Uh, I've seen it somewhere. Or is this just given? Yeah, this was just given from uh, Tough Enough to Psy. It's a good spread of Tech 2 flak. I mean, among the players, Tough Enough continues the tech to point defense creep. So much reclaim. Also, some stealth fields as a deceiver. 25 power. Hides everything from radar. Really good unit for uh, Cybern. Gunships retreat for Infinity Pool. Infinity Pool getting an upgrade. Check if Psy actually does have the gun. No, he doesn't. I'm just uh, tripping here. So no upgrades on that ACU. And some interceptors now from Tough Enough. We're going to do some scouting. Some of the first scouting we've seen here in 15. Meanwhile, the Tech 2 force from Tough Enough decided to go into the middle. Step on force from Infinity Pool. It's going to be a shot at distance. Perhaps a response, and we're going to see kiting now from Cyber. Good work, plus the deceiver. So Infinity Pool here actually. Well, these, air, these uh, gunships will help out. You cannot see units here. They're outside the radar. Well, actually, they're in the radar, but uh, under stealth. And a retreat. Tough enough is going to get more tech to gunships or uh, tech to point defenses. This factory is not producing anything. Some power storage, TMD. 
Only one take to mask structure for infinity pull, infinity pull with another push as he got the gun. And that's going to really make things for Sai very difficult. Buffing off more technical point defenses. Here running in, and C2C is going to take on Detective Force. As long as he moves around, does some dodging, he should be in good shape. So a bit of mistake there from Tough Enough who retreats. Detective point defenses. Uh, for an infinity pool. Detective engineers going to the middle. I try to secure it. Infinity pool running into some Detective point defenses from Psy. Detective engineer. Tech to land before size. El show is now. Of course, Infinity Pool with the gun should be able to take care of it. Overcharge against point defense. There goes the point defense. Sign a bit of trouble now. More bombers from Tough Enough. Tough Enough operating with multiple forces. This force can do some good here by sandwiching Infinity Pool, but looks like Sai will survive the before it kills Good point defenses to retreat to, but. The top side really pushed back. Tech to point defense in the middle doing good work for Infinity Pool. More kiting from uh, Tough Enough. Tough Enough looks like going to Tech 3 land. 55 kills for Infinity Pool. Now moving into the middle could get himself in trouble against this Tech 2 plus uh, ECU, but veteran seeing the gun should help him out. Meanwhile, well, C2C on another assault. He's got to keep his uh, enemy honest. So much weak name from Tough Enough. And it's 17, nearly 8,000. Compared to Infinity Pool, he's got a whole bunch of mass. Actually, he got some power problems, maybe. But he did get to reclaim that whole mountain. Infinity Pool, and 57 kills. Sai trying to get an upgrade. And Sai, very vulnerable, it cancels. He's just going to walk up. More defensive positions for C2C. Some point defenses, deck one. A lot of reclamation for Infinity Pool. And you can see Tech 2 point defenses all along the edge here from Tough Enough. He's going to try to creep into the territory here for Sai, trying to uh, protect his ally. First Tech 3 land unit, the Loyalist. Got some TMD on it. Very good, uh, really, in all situations, plus pretty quick. Tough Enough. Uh, Detective point defense, perhaps we're going to see a fight. Well, we can see not tough enough moving in. All of us, Tech 2 Cyber. Infinity Pool uh, charging ahead. Might get himself in trouble. Also, Tech 3 coming in. Infinity Pool needs to retreat. Taking a little too much. And uh, Sina's going to come in too. He's going to join the beatdown. Infinity Pool, huge. Get the veterans boost there. Now shooting against an ACU, tough enough for retreating for whatever reason. I guess he does not want to lose all of his units to an overcharge. Infinity Pool 72 kills. Still getting hit by objective point defense. A ghetto. That it just gets demolished by objective black. Infinity Pool retreating, 1500 health. More overcharge, 77 kills, tough enough. Trying to follow him. And objective point defense escape from Infinity Pool to retreat to Infinity Pool. Barely survived, perhaps with a better microphone on the top side, they could have trapped him and ended it right there. It's very dangerous from Infinity Pool, but he survives now with 80 kills. Meanwhile, C2C taking the chance to go on an attack, running into a couple of loyalists, and that was a good overture. That's why they see you a little bit of power storage, it's extremely powerful weapon. Meanwhile, this loyalist uh, just is not going to go down without an overcharge. Also, deck to point defenses here. And these ones. This is the best point defenses in the game for Infinity Pool. Tech to point defense creep from Infinity Pool. Very good defensive position for Infinity Pool. So you can see meanwhile retreating with all of his mobile missile launchers that he used to counter some of these point defenses, but now tech to land. Those are going to be slaughtered. The ACU for CQC. Fighting off the Loyalists. The Loyalists, meanwhile, are going to run into a point defense. Going to try to take that out. And that's not going to work. Saw in a counterattack. And a big uh, ghetto gunship here. Tech 2 ghetto gunship from the Fetty Pool. This unit is not that good when uh, there's Tech 2 flak around. Actually, you see a bunch of interceptors now from Tough Enough. And that's a uh, short lived ghetto there. A lot of dead. 
McMarine. Stack to bombers from Infinity Pool. So Infinity Pool trying to use his tech to air to some advantage. But on a small map with tech to flak, that's, that's going to have minimal effect. Bombing some flak there. Taking out a couple Elshavas. Tech one air coming in from Tough Enough. Robert. Tough Enough, about 50 kills. He's going to go on assault together with a whole bunch of tech three. All these uh, mobile missile launchers really outgun the Manta. Gonna retreat. See to see uh, up on a hill some tech to point defenses to retreat to, but we can see tough enough is going to be taken back to land. It's a serious force, and you can see there that's the ability of the loyalists to, uh, to send the uh, missiles right back. Size so tech two land, and the ACU facing tech one. Maybe we'll get in good position in the middle. Take the point of it, and it looks like the ACU with the gun is going to move to the top, try to stop Sai from doing anything. Take one gunship is from tough enough. The gesture. And now it looks like CC2C can't see what's happening here because of all the stealth from tough enough. He is going to see a bunch of gunships moving in. That's the deceiver there, and tough enough moving in. After the initial assault against the AC, perhaps taking out this point defenses would be better. An air fight between C2C and Tough Enough. And now the Tech 3 versus Tech 2 point defenses plus the ACU. Gunships, uh, but a great overcharge between C2C is going to send Tough Enough back. It's ACU with the gun and stealth is a very powerful weapon, but total air domination now from Tough Enough. Looks like Infinity Pool with the gun now is once again taken over. The mountain, and a bit of a point defense standoff between the engineers of Infinity Pool and Psy. Tech 3 land from C2C. So both Cybers here at Tech 3 land operating with loyalists, all missile launchers, stealth, some shields planned. It looks like C2C, 24 uh, kills. Meanwhile, tough enough, big number, many loyalists. That's a lot of loyalists. That's seven loyalists plus a full health ACU going on an assault. You know, C2C in a full retreat. He does have some tech 3 of his own, but very much outgunned. Overcharges here would be great. And here with no overcharge coming from C2C. C2C kind of forgetting about his ACU. And you don't want to make that mistake when it's a tech 3 fight. Just a few seconds and uh, you're going to die because well, it's a lot of firepower. Really in tech 1 you can have a little bit of... Uh, Leniency with what you do with the AC. Tech 3, no room for mistake. Infinity Pool now losing his ally. No give, so he's pretty much uh, done as well. He looks like he's just moving in with his ACU, 90 kills. Running into a Tech 2 point defense. See Infinity Pool marking the straight line. He's also going to die. So, 24 minute game, a really good. Good uh, use of tech versus map control for him. Tough enough. Really on a map with such spread out mask structures, it's quite dangerous to do, but I see to see not able to make them pay, and uh, that superior eco of tough enough that the more tech 3 land just kind of overran C2C with a small micro mistake there, but in any case, it would have been pretty bad. But on the bottom here, a uh, really nice even fight between Infinity Pool and Psy. Hopefully, people enjoyed it, and definitely check out the cast from TJ and uh, Napalm. So I'll link that in the description.